Welcome to the 2016 Bad Boy Breakout. Workout number two has a 14 minute time cap. Part one is seven minutes to establish a max complex of three power cleans, two front squats, and one shoulder to overhead. At the end of the seven minutes, there will be a one minute transition, and then we begin a six minute AMRAP, ascending by reps of two, two box jump overs, 24 inches for men, 20 inches for females, two shoulder to overhead, 95 for males, 65 for females, and two slam balls, 50 pounds for males, 30 pounds for females. Partners will alternate each movement, and again we are increasing by two reps each round. So two, two, and two, four, four, and four, six, six, and six, etc. until the six minutes is up. If partner one begins on the box jumps, partner two begins on the shoulder to overhead, and then partner one would do the slam balls. Partner two would do the box jump overs, partner one would do the shoulder overhead, and partner two would do the slam balls. You'll alternate in this fashion for the entire six minutes. At the call of three, two, one, go, both athletes will begin working on their max complex. Only one athlete may attempt the complex at a time, however, you can alternate as you like. At the end of the seven minutes, your highest scored lift will be the score. The complex must be unbroken, which means that you cannot drop the barbell between cleans, nor can you rest it on the ground. The power, rep, the power clean reps must be tap and go. Once three power cleans have been fully stood up, then you may begin your two front squats. The third power clean cannot be a squat clean. You must do three full power cleans. Once you have completed the two squats, then you may do the one shoulder to overhead. Unlike the power clean, should you choose to thruster the shoulder to overhead out of the second squat, that is acceptable. The thruster, just like the shoulder to overhead, must be fully locked out and controlled for the rep to count. The power clean must start with the barbell on the floor, and the rep must be caught with the hips above parallel. For the squats, the bar starts in the front rack with the hip fully open, the athlete descends below parallel, and stands all the way back up. For the shoulder to overhead, the bar must be locked out overhead with the arms in line with the body, hips open, and feet brought back together. As soon as the seven minutes is up, athletes will have one minute to set their barbells to the appropriate weight, and then the AMRAP will begin. The reps increase by two each round, and will continue in that matter for the entire six minutes. For the box jump overs, athletes must start with two feet on the ground and end with two feet on the other side of the box on the ground. You may jump onto the top of the box and over, you may step up and over, or you may jump over the box as long as two feet start on the ground and two feet end on the ground. For the shoulder to overhead, the barbell will start in the front rack, and just like in the complex, will be locked out overhead with the arms in line with the body and the feet brought back together. The slam balls will start with the ball on the ground, will be brought to full extension overhead, and then thrown back to the ground. You do not have to catch it off the bounce, but it must touch the ground before between each rep and then lifted to the overhead position. At the end of the 14 minutes, score number one will be combined total weight on the complex, and then total reps completed of the AMRAP.